Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the intermediate code generation. Intermediate code generation is the fourth stage in the compiler design, and uh, uh, intermediate code generation is uh, sometimes very important when we are using the two-phase compilers, because uh, it is uh, in the first phase up to the intermediate code generation operations are done, and based on the intermediate code generation, uh, intermediate code generated, which is actually the platform independent, the uh, second phase is generated for the code generation so uh, just to have a look at what the intermediate code generations uh, inter intermediate code generation does it actually uh, finds out the intermediate codes and intermediate codes are basically of two types uh, one is the linear form in fact it is not of the two types but in the intermediate codes can be represented in two forms one is the linear form and the other one is the tree form Fine. So intermediate codes can be represented either in the linear form or in the tree form. So <clears throat> the linear form can be represented in two ways. One is in the form of the postfix expressions, and the other one is the three address code. Fine. And the tree forms can be represented in two ways. One is the syntax tree. We have already seen what the syntax tree are, and the other one is the directed acyclic graph tag. Let's say we have an expression of kind a plus b multiplied with a plus b plus c. So let us see how these, uh, uh, how in these these uh, different forms this this expression can be represented. This is the expression, and we have to find out the intermediate code for this so the postfix expression would be a b plus then a b plus c plus and multiplication so this is the postfix expression of the given infix expression <clears throat> you must already have studied this postfix expression in your third semester while studying the subject data structure even in the discrete mathematics also now in the three address code what we're going to say uh, these they, this will have the three different addresses so let's say a plus b is stored in the t1 so there are three different addresses t1 is one of the address a and b are the two different addresses and this is the first uh, three address code for this and this t2 equals to a plus b another one first we are using for this one and then a plus b for this for this a plus b we are taking it in t2 and then t3 equals to t2 plus c so this is t1 this is t2 and this t2 plus c and then finally the t4 is equals to this t1 multiplied with this entire t3 okay so this way the uh, in we can represent this expression in the three address form and now what about the syntax tree in the syntax tree form what we can do uh, Syntax tree is uh, more as uh, syntax can tree can be understood more as the expression tree that you must have studied in your data structure. So how do we actually form the uh, the expression tree? Take the highest uh, operator. In this case, it will be the the bracket. Let's say this is sub expression one, and then this has sub expression two, and then two plus c is sub expression three, and then finally one multiplied with three. So for 1 multiplied with 3, 1 is on the left hand side and 3 is on the right hand side. So for 1 it is a plus b and 3 is actually 2 plus c. So 2 is on the left hand side and c is on the right side. And then we can replace this 2 with this a plus b. Fine. So this actually is the syntax tree. So this will be plus so this actually is the syntax tree by which the intermediate codes can be represented another one is the directed acyclic graph wherein if we have already found uh, uh, any other part so they that uh, does not require to be uh, rewritten or redrawn for example a plus b we have done here and a plus b we have done here also so if we, if we have already found this a plus b once then we do not need to 
find it out again. We just need to provide a direction or the link to this. Okay. So for this plus, what is happening? That first we are have we are going to find out this a plus b, and then whatever is the answer will be added to the c because of this. So this is the directed acyclic graph. So these are the different ways by which uh, uh, the intermediate codes can be represented. So out of these intermediate codes, the three address code is the most popular one. So we will be using this three address codes more often than any of the other form. So uh, the, this if for for any other code given to us, we will be converting that to the three address code, and we shall see that what are the different ways by which these three address codes can be written. So just list. We are going to list out some of the ways by which the three address code can be written. So the first three address code is for x equals to y any binary operation z. So this op is representing any binary operation. So this binary operation may be addition, subtraction, multiplication, modulus in the arithmetic operation, and then and, or, not. Sorry, not not the not, and or XOR in the uh, in the in the logical operation, okay, and the bitwise operation is also. You must be knowing the, all these things very well. So if, if this operation can be any other binary operation. Second is X O P Y. So here this O P is actually the unary operation. the negation of 3 or not of 7 something like that so those are the unary operation and then some kind of the assignment operation for example x equals to y so this is also a kind of the three address code and then the uh, if condition or the conditional statement so how the conditional statement is written if X, then relational operation. Y, if this is true, then go to some level L. Okay, so this is called the conditional jump. So you have to jump to some level based on some conditions. And the kind of the uh, three address code could be go to L. so this is the unconditional jump fine so this is the unconditional jump and then the array operations for example a i is equals to x so three different addresses here are a i and x so a is representing the base address i is representing the index and x is the data value which is applied or which is stored at the a array ith index fine similarly it could be like y equals to a j here what is happening that uh, there is an array a which is uh, which has a base address a and at jth index you are going to store this y so the three different address addresses here are y a and j and then the pointer operations x equals to star p or y equals to address of p something like this okay so both of these are actually the pointer statement so these are the various ways why these are the various statements in the three address codes fine so we'll be using uh, all these again and again just to represent the various kinds of the codes thank you